Welcome to this special episode of Real Estate Fight Club. This is a series called What Would You Do? Here with me today is Jim Camarada from Keller Williams in Snowmageddon, is what I wanted to say. (laughs) What are we talking about today, Jim? It has to do with Article 8. Okay. Realtors shall keep in a special account in an appropriate financial institution separated from their own funds, monies coming into their possession in trust for other persons, such as escrows, trust funds, clients' monies, and other like items. So this realtor listed a property, (laughs) sold it. There was a fairly substantial down payment earnest money. Must have been in Florida or North Carolina. Oh, wherever. (laughs) Buyer got cold feet, buyer's remorse, and said, I don't want to buy this thing. I want to buy it. I'm willing to to forego my earnest money. I oh. just don't want to proceed with this. Okay. So the seller said, it's okay with sure. me. Yeah. I'm fine with sharing in a portion of that earnest money deposit. Right. So they both signed their releases. Okay. And the buyer forfeited the earnest money. Okay, great. What's the problem? So, Well, the problem came when the seller client went to his realtor and said, okay, oh, show me the money. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? And he couldn't do it. Oh, well, (laughs) oh, what happened to it? He didn't put it into a separate trust account. He put it and co-mingled with his personal business. And then he spent it? He encountered unexpected Oh, isn't is. that stealing? It, depending on how much money it is, it's a felony, I imagine. In addition to a severe sanction by the Professional Standards Review Committee, they also turned that over to the Department of Commerce because yeah. this is now a very serious crime and people have lost licenses. I don't think that the real estate agent should be collecting that earnest money. I think it needs to either go to like the title company or the attorney or whoever's actually handling the money. Like, why are we getting it? Even. And people don't have checks anymore. At EXP, we have like a way to do it electronically, but not everybody does. And so they're getting like a check, which is oh, so annoying. Was that agent a broker? I don't know. That person is so wrong. So in trouble. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah, to not steal money. Well, it's misappropriation of funds, too. You know, it's just bad. It's stealing. Bad business, and it's stealing, and it's, you can label it a lot of things. It's just wrong. No me gusta. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a podcast.